What we've discovered with this study is that in 77% of cases, people that we interviewed reached for the screen. And this is when they were given the option for every given action to choose between the screen or mouse or trackpad. So for all the scenarios that we tested, and there were several, in 77% of these cases, they touched the screen. The assumption is that because Windows 8 has been designed for touch, laptops might, you know, might need to have touch. But is that true? Is it really needed to have a touch capability with this user interface? And if it is, how do we deliver that? What are the pain points? What are the, you know, the consequences of it? Will people like it? Will people use it? And so forth. What I've noticed is that a lot of users will go for the touch and, and press this button, and then let's say that I want to insert this pizza party picture in this specific environment. And I'll say that I want to, to type here something. As you can see, I've got the option to use a virtual screenboard, but let's say that here I want, I just want to, uh, to write something, and then I might want to save. And now I might want to close PowerPoint, and you know, this is the kind of little corner, and. Uh, this is what people did over and over again. Press the little corner with touch instead of using the more, the more precise areas of the trackpad and mouse. The users could choose in every given task to, to go with their own kind of instinct and use the modality that fe they felt was the most appropriate. People were very clear about the fact that they do not want to give up the keyboard. They're very attached to the capability of actually typing, physically typing. When they started telling me I like the touch and I like the keyboard, I started probing users and say, well, what about if I give you a tablet, a very powerful tablet, and then an external wireless keyboard? Isn't that the same? And users were telling to me, no, 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 absolutely not. I want to have my laptop. I don't want you to separate them. That's called tablet. I like it. I use it, but for different type of usages. Here, I want to have my you know, laptop. I want one device that opens and closes. I just want you to give me touch. We really could understand very clearly that Touch has got the potential and the capability of transforming the laptop or the notebook from a work to a play device. So that's very important because people today are buying laptops and notebooks mostly because they need to get things done. But they do not relate to those devices as something that is emotional. Very different from the wisdom that we had in the industry, we have got terminology to even describe this wisdom, which is the gorilla arm, as indicating that you know, having touch on a vertical screen is a very bad idea. Actually, what we discovered with users in this study is that users have got a very different opinion on that. Because they are saying to us that you know, for them, first of all, touch brings a better ergonomic landscape. They are telling to us that actually they do have already a lot of ergonomics issues with the mouse and the trackpad, so by giving them touch, we improve and enrich the ergonomic landscape. And you know, if you start thinking about touch on a vertical screen when it's you know, in an ATM machine, it's fixed. But if you start looking in a laptop or a notebook, there is a lot of wisdom that says that people will poke at the screen so hard that the device will tip, the screen will move backwards, and some disaster is going to happen. In fact, what we demonstrated with this study is that not only people love touch, they are very gentle. Even the people that do not own any touch device, they were really caressing the screen, nobody was poking out. In 81 interviews for two hours each, none of them poked so hard that things moved. If I did this study five or 10 years ago, I don't know if I would have had the same results. So I think there are different parts to this story. One is really the sophistication that users have. You know, they've been exposed in so many different ways to touch capability. Through, you know, touches in their pockets with their phones and touches, you know, in when you go to buy something or, you know, like ATM machines. So they are surrounded by this capability. And so in a way, in the last five years, there has been an acceleration in the sophistication of, of, of users. The other side of the story is also technological. You know, the touch screen and, you know, we advanced with technology. And so the touch screen capability of today is different from the one of five years ago. And so from the perspective of responsiveness, smoothness, that is kind of substantially different. And that makes a difference in the overall experience. So today now with the Windows 8 and you know, different type of operating system that are optimized for touch, the story is different because you know, not only you've got a great and very compelling and now technologically advanced capability, but also is matched with the user interface that enables that capability to blossom. You know? And so it's very different today from like five or 10 years ago.